المحاضرة اللي هي الجزء الأولاني من المحاضرة التانية احنا خلاص أصلا شرحناها فيس تو فيس في المدرج و... وتمام بس هنشوف الفيديو اللي هو خاص بيها يمكن في ناس مشافتهوش فهنشوفه تاني في المحاضرة دي تمام Although all insects have common structures in their digestive systems, these structures can be highly variable between species based on the diversity of foods that insects eat. We will use the grasshopper to illustrate the basic principle for these common structures. The insect digestive system is divided into three main sections, the foregut, the midgut, and the hindgut. The foregut is comprised of the mouth for ingesting food, the pharynx and esophagus for transporting food, and the crop where food is stored prior to digestion and absorption. If the food is solid, it moves from the crop into a muscular proventriculus where it may be further ground before passing through the stomadial valve into the midgut. The midgut is the region for the digestion of food and the absorption of nutrients. Finger-like projections, called gastric cica, occur at the junction of the midgut and proventriculus and serve as major structures for nutrient absorption. Unabsorbed food particles pass through the proctodial valve into the hindgut. At the junction of the midgut and hindgut are a group of long, thread-like tubules that flex about in the hemolymph. These tubules are called Malpighian tubules, and they are the insect excretory system. Malpighian tubules filter the hemolymph and form a urine containing water, salts, small metabolites, the nitrogenous waste products, and any toxic chemicals that are present. Undigested food from the midgut along with the Malpighian tubule urine are passed into the hindgut. Special cells in the rectum selectively reabsorb the water salts and small metabolites and the remaining waste products are excreted. By selectively taking all water, salts, and small molecules into the Malpighian tubules, then selectively reabsorbing the water, salts, and metabolites in the hindgut, the insect can rid its body of waste and any unanticipated toxic chemicals while maintaining a normal metabolite and water balance.